Bernie Sanders, Vermont Senator and Democratic presidential candidate, announced Tuesday that he's introducing legislation to abolish private for-profit prisons. At a campaign rally in Nevada, Sanders said that when Congress reconvenes next month, he'll introduce a bill that, quote, takes corporations out of profiteering from running jails. The policy is just one part of Sanders' comprehensive racial justice platform, released last week. The racial justice reform package addresses issues like police violence against African Americans and over-incarceration, which disproportionately affects black and Hispanic citizens. In fact, as Sanders notes, blacks are imprisoned at six times the rate of whites in the U.S. As a result, one in four African Americans can expect to be incarcerated in their lifetime. According to a statement released by Sanders on his website, one method of curbing this trend is abolishing for-profit prisons. He said, it is morally repugnant and a national tragedy that we have privatized prisons all over America. Corporations should not be allowed to make a profit by building more jails and keeping more Americans behind bars. Of course, Sanders is correct. For-profit prisons have been a large contributor to America leading the world in prisoners. In fact, the industry doubled in size from the year 2000 to 2010. Today, about 16% of federal prisoners are held in private prisons, while the two largest prison corporations, Corrections Corporation of America, or CCA, and Geo Group, together accrue about $3.3 billion per year, and they're always lobbying the government to build more cells and find prisoners to fill them. According to the National Institute on Money and Politics, in just the past 13 years, Geo Group has contributed more than $6 million to Republican, Democratic, and third-party candidates. Since 1989, both the Geo Group and CCA have spent about $25 million lobbying state and federal lawmakers. According to the Washington Post, several presidential candidates, including Florida Senator Marco Rubio, have taken money from private prison companies. For example, Rubio has received about $40,000 from Geo Group throughout his political career. On his website, Sanders calls these legal bribes immoral. Conversely, his Democratic rival, Hillary Clinton, appears to have no issue with taking money from for-profit prison corporations. According to The Intercept, Geo Group and CCA are two of Clinton's top campaign contributors. Every day, Sanders continues to prove why he deserves a Democratic presidential nomination, while Clinton keeps demonstrating that her loyalties lie with her rich donors.